Yo, what's going on guys? Canadian Dipper here for another review. Um, today we're going to be doing Camel Snus Frost. I don't know if you can see that good there. Um, it is made by RJ Reynolds Tobacco. They make obviously like Camel Cigarettes, Newports, I believe. And, um, this is like one of their only SNUS products that I'm aware of. Um, anyways, I am currently back in the United States after visiting Canada for two weeks, visiting friends and family. Um, so I'll have more content now that I'm back. Um, my SNUS order came in, so I'll have more reviews of that coming up in the next couple of weeks maybe um anyways let's jump right into her so i'm a really big fan of these cans um that's what you got there i've been dipping into it <laughs> um but these are the mini a little small pouch so I'm gonna throw in a few all right so <clears throat> yeah I'm back in the United States as I previously mentioned um it was a long trip it was about almost six hours um my wife followed me um we crossed at the ambassador bridge in windsor and she was supposed to follow me and little and behold she got lost i uh, lost her for a bit but we ended up meeting in sandusky ohio it was a nightmare, but I'm back and kind of feels good to be back. Still waiting on my US social security number, which is a nightmare here. <laughs> um, I do want to compare. Um, Camel also makes the Frost Snus in a large as they do with their other Snus products. Um, now this one is a full bag, as you can see, it's a dry portion. I'm kind of waiting for it to kind of warm up a bit. Um, I kind of already know what I'm going into with this review. Now... If you can't afford Swedish SNUS products, um, arguably it's the best you can buy. Um, but for, if for some reason you can't afford it, I would recommend using Camel SNUS here in the United States. Um, it is a little bit pricey. I think it was like $5.25 for a tin of 15 pouch pouches, sorry. And which is to me a little pricey. I mean, for my state, it's like $5.25 for Camel Snus in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, Tobacco seems to be going up in price here. I don't know if it's the same everywhere. I know in the New England states, tobacco is ridiculous, very expensive there. But for standards here, I think $5.25 is pretty high for this. But um, it may still be cheaper for you if you can't afford the shipping costs 
on Swedish Nuss. But um, let's jump into the flavor a little bit. Now, to me, this is a very good flavor. Uh, <laughs> it is like a, a spearmint. And um, I'm trying to think of what I can compare it to, really. If you ever had Skull Snus, it, they're very similar. Very, very similar. But these taste better than Skull Snus, in my opinion. But they're very close. Um, yeah, that's the best I can compare it to. Um, there was one Swedish Snus I've tried that compares to camel snus um i i think it was thunder frosted yes it was so okay so uh odin no sorry uh thunder frosted portion snus is very similar to this but thunder's a little bit stronger i believe but nonetheless if you're in the u.s and um you know you don't want to uh, use dip where you put it in your lower lip. Uh, there are a few products out there on the market that almost every store would have, and that is one of them. I think it's an excellent product. Um, I was using it myself, waiting for my Swedish Snus order uh, when I got back. From Canada, I was like, I gotta get some camel snus. So here we are. But um, yes, <coughs> this is definitely worth trying or doing while you're waiting for your snus order or um, too expensive for you. This is your product, I'm telling you. I don't think it's that strong in nicotine, which is the downfall. I could probably put in a third one right now and I don't know, maybe these have three or four milligrams of nicotine per pouch. So I have two in my mouth, which would be eight milligrams. But um, this is definitely what I would recommend. If you're in the U.S. and you want to try uh, snus or snus, I know, I think in Sweden they say snus. I don't know. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, I'm a little rough today. Oh, man. I should probably be more energetic when I do these videos, but I was like, I have a kid. I have a kid about that's almost pretty much a year and a half, and uh, he takes a lot of energy out of me. <laughs> As I said in my last video, I want to add uh, more content to these like I want to uh, now that I'm back I want to go shooting and I want to do something and add to it I'm even e I'm even considering doing like a gaming while I do these reviews or something like that you know Call of Duty Vanguard is coming out um, I was not a fan of uh, <coughs> Call of Duty Cold War I thought the game was absolute trash. Um, I enjoyed the campaign just a little bit because I love the concept of the Cold War and the whole history behind it. Um, I think it's stupid that they only let you play one side, although the ending lets you decide the character's fate which I thought was really cool um, the ending the very last chapter of the campaign I thought was awesome um, but other than that the campaign was very very short the multiplayer is uh, meh zombies is awesome um, it kind of gets old after a while but it is definitely still fun to play with your friends. Um, but Vanguard looks better than Cold War in my opinion. Maybe not. I saw the trailer. It looks dope. I know they're trying to compete with Battlefield. Um, 
See, I'm not a huge fan of the futuristic stuff. I like it being within a historical time frame. Um, so with the new Battlefield, I see it's very futuristic in a way. And I'm not a huge fan of that. I was a huge fan of Battlefield 5, World War II based. Awesome game. But like I said, I'm trying to figure out uh, more content or more ways to do these reviews and add a little fun to it or a little spin. Um, I am thinking about investing in a computer or at least a gaming laptop of some sort. But that still remains to be seen. Um, this is still kind of a project for me. Um, I am thinking about doing something creative. Like if I get to like 25 subscribers or something like that. I'll do a whole can of camel. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. On camera, if I get 25 subscribers, I will do a whole can of camel frost snooze large portion the whole can if i get 25 subscribers and you can hold me on that but yeah camel snooze <coughs> if you're in the u.s and you don't have access to swedish snus there's no reason you can't. If you got a job, get you a month's supply and you'll realize that it actually saves you money in the long run. Go to snuscentral.com um, and get you some. I mean, they haven't added anything that new. Like, I want to try the new Siberia Black Minis, which is kind of like this, the... A mini pouch of the Siberia black version and I definitely want to try that there's another can out there called it's a limited edition it's called general uh, harvest it's like raw tobacco from South America and I thought that was really cool I don't even know how to get my hands on it or whether it's even released for the public yet maybe it's still coming soon or something like that but I'm definitely gonna try and get my hands on those um, <clears throat> I do have a few more alternatives I want to add, but this channel will be predominantly tobacco. Um, but I will do a lot of alternatives because, I mean, a lot of people want to quit dip. I think sweet it, or want to quit tobacco in general. But um, I think Swedish snus is a better alternative than U.S. dipping tobacco for sure. 100%. I think it's safer. Even the FDA is like approving it. Um, it's better for you. The reason why, like I think, tobacco in the U.S., they put chemicals in it. They cure it with like ammonia and other crap as in Sweden. <clears throat> um... It's like natural tobacco, like organic tobacco for the most part. Unless I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that they do not cure tobacco in Sweden or wherever Sweden imports tobacco from um, that they don't use harsh chemicals or anything like that or even pesticides. I could be wrong, but from... The research I've done, Swedish snus is actually not that bad for you. I mean, if you look up the um, statistics on oral cancer in Sweden, it is ridiculous. Like, it's almost zero. In Sweden is a heavy snus uh, user. So, I don't know, man. But... Again, I can't stress this enough. September 20th, if you are a Canadian citizen living in Canada, living outside of Canada, you can still vote if you live outside of Canada. I voted. It is so important. 
to vote, especially in this election. And I'm seeing the polls right now, and my party of my choice isn't doing too hot. And, you know... Not too many Cana not too many Canadians are fond of Justin Trudeau, but I'm looking at the polls and he's projecting to win another minority government. Which means this election was a complete waste of time because prior to the call of the election, we were already in a liberal minority government. So making this election pointless. If that's the same result. So please vote. It is so important. I don't care where you are. I'd argue voting is important. Uh, obviously in some places. Yeah, it's, a it's a unfair with voter fraud and election fraud and all that jazz. But September 20th, Monday. Please vote, vote, vote. I don't care who you vote for, even if you want to vote for a party that I don't particularly support. But as I stressed enough, if you want COVID mandates, you want COVID passports, you want to be controlled by your government, um, lose your job because you refuse to get the vaccine. <laughs> that's what you're voting for, in my opinion, when you vote for those parties. But like I said... I don't care who you vote for because that's democracy. If that's what you want, majority rules. So please vote. Can't stress that enough. Anyways, as I said, I'm thinking of ways to hype up this channel a little bit, make it more fun. Um, I plan on hitting the woods here and doing some shooting while I review and I'm thinking of other ways like again the gaming idea I still got that it's in here if you got any ideas for me let me know in the comments um, I mentioned in my last video I did that if you want to make reviews or you're curious about it and you want to collaborate I'm all for that just shoot me a message. I also have an Instagram. <coughs> I believe I put it in the bio, of the bio of this channel. So go follow me there for... I release updates on what I'm going to review in a video. So, yeah, that's a perfect way to connect better in message. But I think this is going to conclude this video so again stay safe if you're canadian vote september 20th very important and subscribe to my channel and keep on dipping keep on snussing snoozing